Hey guys, it's FM Tech Source, and welcome to my new series on the channel. Well, technically, it's not a new series, but rather a recurring type of video. We're gonna be checking out some pretty cool keyboards, ranging from budget all the way up to high end, and even some of the unique ones that I come across on Amazon. But to kick off this video, we're gonna be checking out a $25 mechanical keyboard that I picked up on Amazon just a few weeks ago. And I want you guys to be honest in the comment section down below if you like this idea. That way, I can continue doing it on the channel channel. But before we get into the video, I want to give a huge thanks to Audioblocks for sponsoring it. They are currently giving away seven days of Audioblocks for free if you guys visit audioblocks.com YouTube and I'll drop a link to it down below. Audioblocks of course has one of the largest audio libraries with over 100,000 clips, loops, and music and sound effects, some of which I've even used in my past videos. They are all royalty free so you won't get hit with any copyright claims, which is awesome. I highly recommend them if you're a content creator like me and are constantly looking for new music music or sound effects to put in your videos. In fact, the background music you are hearing right now in this video is from Audioblocks and I think it's called Old School Loving or something like that. But anyways, check them out and get your seven days of Audioblocks for free by visiting audioblocks.com slash YouTube. I'll also drop a link down below. But with that said and done, let's get right into the video. Mechanical switches used to be a product exclusively made by the Cherry Corporation. And where there is exclusivity, there is high prices. But recently, the patent Cherry owned on the Switch design ran out and there has been a flood of more affordable options into the market. And that's where this Jelly Comb keyboard comes in. It features what the company is calling blue switches and it's paired with multicolored lighting at a price of only $25. If done right, this could be a recipe for success, but let's find out if this is a flop or a buy. So the keyboard is put together very well with a metal top plate and plastic bottom tray. I was honestly surprised by how heavy and robust it is considering its price tag. I wouldn't be worried if I accidentally ended up dropping it or dropping something on it. We've got the usual rubber on the bottom so it won't slide around while you are using it as well as a kickstand feet for adjustability. Pretty standard stuff. The USB cord is a nylon braided cable and if you haven't noticed yet this keyboard isn't true RGB. Instead, each row has its own color and that's about it. There are six lighting modes, however, that the user can cycle through straight from the keyboard. We actually get some control over the direction of the effects on the keyboard with the function plus left or right keys. And of course, we have control over the brightness as well. Unfortunately, I can't turn off the Jellycomb logo, but it's not really a big deal seeing as some tape solves that issue. Through the function keys, we also get full media control as well as quick access to my computer, search, calculator, and even the default Windows Music app. Now it's time to get into the switches themselves. These are definitely some of the loudest switches I've ever used, which is a good thing if you're looking for a blue style switch. The feel kind of reminds me of those ancient bulky IBM keyboards, if you're old enough to remember what those were like. In short, the tactile feel gives great feedback as to where the activation point makes this keyboard great for gaming. I also found it enjoyable while typing on it with those satisfying clicking noises, but to me personally, I much prefer brown or even red switches. The only real negative I see with this product is that it doesn't have a number pad, but if you're looking for a keyboard that does, I'll link a comparable model down below. So for $25, you get blue equivalent switches and a keyboard body that is built very well. You don't get any RGB customization or a numpad. Now also, if you're a streamer, your mic will definitely pick up the clicking noises. But if none of that bothers you and you're in the market for a solid mechanical keyboard for only 25 bucks, you should definitely check this one out. If you guys enjoy these quick keyboard videos, let me know by leaving a like. And if you don't, feel free to dislike just so I know if I should continue doing these. I do want to do at least once a week or maybe once every two weeks. So uh, let me know what your feedback is in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.